by a fluid before. Then what are you made of? I thought Venom's breath was bad. It is. Mm. You know I'm kidding, don't you, Charlie? <laughs> How long was I out? Days. What happened? Before or after you exploded? The collar. Still intact. Though, I'll admit, when Agatha and I first made it for you, we didn't anticipate the need to withstand alien energy. It felt like more than that. As if... I... Thankfully, the Venom creature didn't seem to like it either. Ran off through that gate of his. Which is why Blade was able to get you home. Next time, I will send that thing straight into the Abyss. Next time, there will be no next time. I know I've been pushing things hard. Pushing you. That's what you do. Maybe not on this one. At least until we find a way to counteract the volatile effect of these compounding alien and mystic energies. Which reminds me, Strange and Stark have been chomping at the bit to come see you. Which, of course, I would not allow. Hope you are not too rough on them. Me? Of course not. Though I can't speak for Charlie. Still, wouldn't hurt to show your face around here when you're ready. People are starting to worry.
And you are certain it will hold? We wouldn't be standing here if I wasn't. You two focus on the creature. I will worry about the collar. Haven't really seen Blade since he got back from the sewer. Carrying Hunter home on his back. He's still outside. Being extra broody. Maybe you should talk with him. Um... Good idea. I'll go with you if you like. Um... All I'm saying is the tower's lost. We're no closer to breaking through Slimerama's sanctum shield, and our exalted chosen one just... woke up. And is listening to our every word. Uh, it's great to see you on your feet again, boss. Glad to see you back on your feet again. Strange and I tried to stop by for a little house call while you were out, but turns out your dog is part flamethrower. She is very protective. That's one word for it. Listen, I know you're probably hearing all sorts of comments after your last tangle with Venom. For what it's worth, we both just wanted to say that we don't think you should get within 50 light years of that thing until we sort out what the hell's going on between you two. How does the old saying go? Slash me once, shame on you. Slash me twice. Couldn't have said it better. It's like I'm talking to a living meme. I would hope not. The last meme was killed during the Great Culling. Their mimic abilities made them one of the deadliest threats of the old world. Right. Let's get back to fighting the giant alien slime monster. Look, Strange and I have been studying pieces of that symbiote ever since this nightmare began. Problem is, the further they get from the source, the more their molecular structure changes, which basically renders them useless to us. In zombie movie terms, I need a sample from Patient Zero. The old slime ball himself. Venom. Or Eddie, if you talk to Peter. Either way, that's our guy. We get a sample from him, somehow maintain its molecular integrity long enough for Strange and I to poke around at it, and, well, we're in business. Let me guess. You have a new gadget in mind for the task. Gadget? No, not a gadget. Plans for a groundbreaking device to solve this insurmountable problem and keep you from exploding next time you fight the indestructible monster? You betcha. I like where this is going. Good. Calling it my symbiote sampler for now. Hey, I ran out of acronyms, okay? Stage one in stopping our symbiote nightmare once and for all. Meet me over by ye old anvil over there, and we can get started. Oh, you're not afraid of needles, right? Needles? Forget I asked. Can you... Welcome to Tony's Scary Demon Cave. I'm Tony, and how may I assist you today? These should definitely give you an edge. How long did you say you were exposed to this thing? Eh, it's probably fine. Thing. 
How may the Sorcerer Supreme assist you? I know exactly where this goes. Tony is working. Farewell. Hola. Who's a good kitty? Ah, I see. Why, hello, Hunter. K. 
caretaker. Are you all right? That's what I wanted to ask you. I know you're on your feet and seem fine after that explosion with Venom. But I know all too well from experience that sometimes the worst injuries are not visible to the naked eye. So, please tell me, Hunter. Are you actually as fine as you seem this morning? Or should I be worried? No, caretaker. I am not. My collar. The explosion. It cracked it. Cracked? Yes. I feared this would happen. Venom was filled with your mother's power. It would be naive to think it couldn't fracture even our best defenses against her. Ugh. Least cracked doesn't mean broken. Not yet, at least. You will have to work doubly hard to rein in your darkness. Your actions and words mean more than ever now. Make sure you use them with integrity. I understand. Yeah, well... I guess I should stop fussing over you and go see what horrors Hydra has in store for us today. As you were, Hunter. Unlike the others, I don't... You're one tough cookie, Hunter. Biscotti-level tough. Biscotti? Teeth-breaking Tony kind of cookie. If only I was more teeth-breaking with Venom. Yeah, not your best moment, but it wasn't a total bust. We learned that it takes more than an energy blast straight from hell to wipe you out. True. And that blade? He's an asset. I owe him my life. Yeah, he gets five stars from me. And ass-kicking abilities aside, he's pretty on point with his movie references. Outside the mission stuff, I gotta say, I had my doubts about Blade. The brooding vibe, the sunglasses indoors, his lack of preference between a Chicago style versus New York, which is just plain wrong. But the more I see him in action, the more I think he might be an okay dude. You have just never seen his dark side. It is easy to see the good in people when we have not seen the bad. As a rule, I try not to assume the absolute worst about my teammates. And neither should you. Anyway, I wanted to ask how you were and it turned into a full-blown cooler talk. Better get back to work before the boss notices. Catch you later.
gods are fickle. Caretaker could have at least left me a ch- Even a sorcerer supreme. Let's do this. Caretaker said I need to be a team player, so I guess I'm letting you choose for me too. Back again. Was that the first explosion you've survived? 